Well, there's a cannabis crackdown in L.A. The LAPD today put illegal pot shops on notice. Police and the city have vowed they are going to enforce the laws. And CBS 2's Dave Lopez is live in South L.A. with more information on the new tactic to close those shops. Dave? Well, they've gone going after them with a big hammer, if you will. Behind me, a place called the Dub Shop. It is now padlocked, courtesy of the LAPD, an action that the mayor and the police chief all say is long overdue. Two under arrest, seven more detained on what the police chief and the mayor of Los Angeles calls, quote, the beginning of a war on illegal pot shops in the city of Los Angeles, specifically South L.A., like this one at 90th and Broadway. We've closed 46 illegal dispensaries in this uh, last period. We've sent out 231 letters uh, to cease and desist. And the city has also budgeted $13.5 million for the sole purpose of shutting down every single illegal pot shop in the city using the forces of the police, the fire department, DWP. Our target is the landowner. It's the landlord that is unlawfully allowing that space to be used for this nuisance activity. According to the city, when marijuana became legal to sell in the state of California, Los Angeles had 120 licensed dealers ready to go and are now operating. They also say there are more than 270 illegal shops, and that's who they're going after. Since the beginning of this year, the Los Angeles Police Department has conducted 161 search warrants. At those 161 locations, we've seized nearly $900,000 in currency. We've seized more than two, uh, 10 tons of cannabis and we've recovered 79 firearms. At this location, police say they found at least a half a dozen firearms as they made their arrest, and they said this type of operation is going to become almost a daily occurrence. Why is it so important? The city estimates that they've lost at least $80 million in tax revenue because of these illegal pot shops. At the height of all this activity, when the police were still here conducting the raid, making the arrest, and the media was allowed to come in and look, a woman walked by, asked me what was going on, and when I told her, she looked at the dub shop and said, that used to be a good place. Reporting live from South L.A., Dave Lopez, CBS 2 News.